WNCW is entering into the doors of Haywood Street Church in downtown Asheville on a Wednesday at lunchtime. In the background of voices and conversations, someone is playing beautiful music on the piano. We see people everywhere. Many of them are homeless. Our noses smell the delicious scents of food from the kitchen. In some cases, we see smiles. Perhaps a longtime traveler feels at home. Why not break bread, break barriers? All of these things are a part of Haywood Street Church's The Downtown Welcome Table. This is the Friday Feature Interview of the Week. I'm Paul Foster. I'll be joined at times this week by WNCW's Spencer Jones, who was recently on location at Haywood Street Church. He spoke with the church's pastor, Reverend Brian Combs. Brian, if you want to talk about Haywood Street and Welcome Table. Yeah, so Haywood Street's a United Methodist mission congregation. We're here in the middle of the homeless corridors. All the social service agencies, public housing, places where people camp, we're surrounded by all of that. And we're not here in spite of it, but because of it. And at the very beginning, this is our 10-year anniversary, we said we wanted to do two things well. One was worship and one was eat together. We feel strongly that you can't do church without breaking bread. And the welcome table is our first offering. And 10 years later, it's our biggest by far. And we felt very clear that... God speaks to us most through the voice of folks who aren't heard, and we wanted to amplify those voices by listening, and so we spent a lot of time early on just saying, what do you think church should be? And what we heard overwhelmingly was, could you please do a meal that felt like a homecoming, where I didn't have to wait in line, where it was not someone else's throwaway food, where it felt like a a heavenly banquet of sorts, and that was the impetus for the welcome table. And there's a woman named Amy Gaston who said, I know how to throw a party, I know how to make people feel welcome. I think I feel called to do this. And that's where it began. Through downtown, went to Pritchard Park and said, come to church, we're we're doing dinner, family dinner together. And people started coming and here we are uh, so many years later and the intention was never to grow. That was never part of the long range plan. We didn't have a long range plan, but rather just to say, there's something holy about eating together. And if there's one way to communicate love, it's few that are far better than food somehow it's grown from there and perhaps what touches me most is I think we're at 50 restaurant partners probably another 20 that offer things like condiments and launder the linens who have nothing to do with faith these are not people who identify as Christians certainly and yet there's something about the welcome table that that transcends any one particular belief system and and people who've gotten exposed to this have said I just want to be a part of it and we're, we're only here because of those partnerships. One of those many partnerships that Reverend Combs was referring to is one with Katie Buttons of Katie Buttons Restaurants. Think about this. In 2013, there were just six restaurants providing assistance to the welcome table. As he said just a moment ago, today it's around 50. Here's what Katie Buttons had to say. So the downtown welcome table is extremely important based on the idea that food is important, but human connection is more important. The downtown welcome table is set up where anybody who needs a meal can come in. So you come in instead of going down cafeteria style and getting a tray and eating by yourself and then leaving, sit down at round tables with other people. You are served family style a meal on beautiful pottery from East Fork Pottery with glasses and flowers on the table. There are volunteers there who are serving everybody and asking you how your day was. And you're then passing your food to your neighbor and it's inspiring conversation among people. That is what makes the downtown welcome table so beautiful. Got involved back in 2013 about an idea to help them be able to to accomplish this because they feed 400 to 500 people every Wednesday and Sunday. And it was getting to be a lot for their one chef. So we came up with this idea of the restaurants in Asheville collaborating or the area, really anywhere in this area. And what we did with the months leading up to it, we put envelopes on the tables in our restaurant that told the story of the downtown welcome table and also raised money. And so it created this like circle of giving back. Once you go and you see 
the downtown welcome, welcome table and you experience it, you're hooked. Now let us give you the example of a visitor, a guest to the downtown welcome table. What's your name, sir? I'm Robert Stafford. And what's your experience with welcome table, Robert? So I started coming down here about 10 years ago for a meal and it was like 40 people. Now we feed over a thousand. Back then I was an addict. So now I was an addict for 30 years. Now I'm sitting fixing to celebrate seven years clean. I made a lot of unique relationships out of this place. Relationships I thought I'd never make in my life. So I have a very extended family in Christ here at Haywood Street. What's your favorite meal? Joe Scully, lavender chicken and them grits. Lavender chicken and grits? Yes. I'm Trace Rudolph. Uh, I am the uh, residential intern here at Haywood Street. I kind of discovered this place because a couple of people I consider my mentors, they pointed me in this direction because I was looking for something to do in my gap year between undergrad and graduate school. This place blew away my expectations. The culture here is incredible. There's such a lack of them. There's only us. Whenever you're dealing with people who are on the streets, it's usually in a them matter. It's usually in, oh, what do they have to offer? What do they do? And I could say that it's changed me as a person tremendously. I like to think of it as we're bringing privilege to those who are disprivileged. Tell me just a little bit about the impact that you see on the people that come here and get a top-notch meal. There seems to be something so healing and holistic about good relationship. And good relationship is found over and over in the Bible throughout history around a table. And then to bring dignity to those who are looked down upon in that message as well, I think it's incredible, yeah. So my name is David Holland. I'm the banquet steward here. It evolved down here into the current kitchen you see, and it is strictly designed to put on a six course meal with candlelight, real china, in fact it's East Fork pottery, and all this is designed for one purpose, to restore dignity and create relationships. A meal that a person could not afford, and we have everybody from Corte to Chestnut to the Corner Kitchen to Bouchon, all the local restaurants are involved here. They come here once or twice a month and put on their menu to the tables. A six course meal all made from scratch. There is no instant here, there is no leftovers here. It would be just like you made a reservation downtown and came in here, only you wouldn't have to pay for it. There's one more person we want to spotlight when it comes to the downtown welcome table that goes beyond the food and the relationships. It'll add to the church building, to the atmosphere, a recent fresco by fresco artist Christopher Holt. So the, the fresco is really an expression of, of who Haywood Street is, including kind of a, a welcome table. The Haywood Street story as seen through the eyes of the Beatitudes, or the Beatitudes as seen through the eyes of Haywood Street. Brian and I, over time, the fresco took, took, took a life of its own. I drew and worked with the folks who are friends and congregants of the Haywood Street community, and we drew them from life. I kind of think of it as, I, as our letter to Asheville of who we want to be and who we can be going forward. In the promotion of the beautiful fresco, it reads, affirming sacred worth, restoring human dignity, and sabotaging the shame of poverty, the Haywood Street fresco announces in plaster and pigment that you matter. Haywood Street Church and the Downtown Welcome Table are located in downtown Asheville at 297 Haywood Street. Thanks to all of our guests. Special thanks for the contributions of WNCW Spencer Jones to this Friday feature interview of the week. Feature interviews are also online as podcast at WNCW.org. I'm Paul Foster.